Are you guys sick of me talking about this yet? (laughs) What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Big Fry. Shout out to the Fry Nation. I want to start off by saying the clips that I'm using, the statements that I'm about to make in this video, are not shots being thrown at certain members of the H-Hour community. If I'm going to throw a shot at you, you're going to be notified. Um, so let's get right back into the bullshit, discuss some of the things that are going on within this H-Hour community. Because um, I'll be I'll be frank, I'm pissed um, at, at some of the statements being thrown around by some of these people. Um... It's it's fucking ridiculous, and you know, honestly, uh, once we get into it, I knew that this shit was gonna be said uh, for months beforehand. We've called it out on multiple podcasts, um, but but hearing it actually come out has just totally fucking enraged me. So l- let's jump right in, and I'm gonna show you guys a clip here, uh, and just listen, just listen to this shit. I'm going to go meet with Tom and these people that are, you know, interested in this game and and getting it to the PS4. You know, let's not, you know, show them that this is who we are. Like, let's let it go. We need to stop and let it go. Because if it doesn't make it to the PS4, honestly, it's our fault. And I'm being dead ass. It's our fault. Hot off the press, guys. It's our fault. Same community that, that funded you for, you know, a quarter million dollars to make a proof of concept. Our fault. Uh, same community that gave you, uh, what, two years of feedback on the forums? Uh, our fault. That same feedback that got purged when somebody realized that you guys were hiding the fact that David Sears had left. Our fault. The uh, the same people who would literally give you everything to make this game happen. Our fault. TRS, the guys who went on a marketing spree, posted comments and videos, happened to be the reason why I found out about you. Their fault. The Division IGR, those guys, you cut ties with them too, our fault. The same people that handed you everything you ever needed on a silver platter, our fault. The people who might leave a critical review but is only speaking the truth, our fault. Do you guys realize the fucking delusion? The absolute fucking delusion of saying that this community is at fault if this game doesn't make it to PS4? Let's be real with the facts. We have done every goddamn thing imaginable to make this game a success. And I don't give a fuck if you think that what I'm doing here is hurting the game. What I'm doing here is stating things months in advance so you guys can realize it down the road that you fucked up and you can make the change for the better. You know? Let, 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 me, let me show another clip here. Because these two clips were a couple days apart, and just the fact that they're all compounding on one another fucking pisses me off. Let's go to it. Now is the time to give it that positive review if you think it deserves it. If you don't think it deserves it, then that's fine. You think and, and voice your opinions and say that it needs more work. But if you think that it's made a good turnaround and it's time for investors to really start seeing that this game is doing something and it's it's becoming something, now is the time to do it. Um, get us get. H hour. I mean, I say us. Get us known. Um, I mean, we're doing it for ourselves at this point. Um, SOF has done a ton of stuff for us, and now we have to do something for them. So, yeah. Nice sentiment. I agree. If you guys think that the game has changed and you left a negative review before and you want to change it, by all means, that's what the reviews are there for. Um, but to say that Now's the time for us to do something for SOF. <laughs> what what else what else does this fucking studio need from us? I mean, Jesus Christ, we dug into our fucking pockets, gave you the money you needed to do what you needed to do. We have given you countless amounts of content of posts on the forums feedback during the alpha during the beta what do you need from us do you need more fucking money is that what this is is that what you want from us you want us to you want us to dig into our you want to start another kickstarter like what is it we've given you everything we possibly can give you it is in your fucking hands now and you know what i am not remorseful at all for what i did 
I backed you guys 100 fucking percent, and I told you guys that if I saw the game and the game wasn't up to snuff, that I would fucking tell you. And guess what, guys? I did. I did. Let's go to another clip here from this Q&A that happened last week. We, we definitely need the community to get behind the game, get behind each other, and try to do the best we can to get this thing out the door. But yet last October, when, uh, when we were asking about David Sears and you purged the forums, you came back and you said, uh, based on the events of the last few days and after careful consideration, um, you realized that a studio should not be responsible for developing a community. You essentially, you turned your back on us when all we wanted to know was the fucking truth. To be honest, I'm surprised you brought them back up. I figured that would have went through your head, Tom. And now that now that things aren't going so well for you coming out of early access, you want the community to be involved. You want the community to back you. No, that's not how this works. I'm sorry. You made your bed, now you can lie in it. it it's a sad fact. And that's not me like speaking for the community. I'm just saying that's, that's how this is going to go. And it, it's sooner or later, all these H-Hour fanboys who have been hitting me up wondering why... I, I don't support the studio and all this shit. You guys got to realize that all your begging and all your crying from now on is is going to fall not on deaf ears, but on ears that just don't really give a shit anymore. This video is taking forever, but you know what? Let's go and do another clip right now. Let's just bang it out. You know, I know there's been some ups and downs with the comp- with with the community uh, and the company and, and some of the things that may have happened early on. You know, I'll publicly apologize for it right now of just... Uh, saying, hey, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to learn from those mistakes. But my focus is always going to be back on the game and on the community that wants to see this game through. Like I've said in every video I've made and every stream I've done about this game, I give props where it's due. Props on the apology. Do I accept it? Absolutely not. And this is the reason why. If we change it, we come back. If it's messed up, you'll tell us. And that's the really cool part about it. Some people say there's a lot of hate or whatever. It, either way, it's a voice saying, hey, this doesn't work. It's not right. So we fix it and adjust and move on. And so I'm stoked about, you know, the HR community and some of the rabid fan base that, you know, people say it's it's a difficult community. Fucking stoked, bro. He's so super stoked about it. Um, he loves the fact that there are people out there, you know, the people that you know, say a lot of hate, like like myself, you mean? Because that's what I hear on a daily basis from uh, from the White Knights. It's funny. He's If he's so stoked and he's happy that there's a voice telling you what you need to fix, it's funny that I'm banned from the website, from their Twitter, from their Facebook. I'm banned from everywhere. But he's super stoked, bro. He loves the the critical comments. He loves it. He's feeding you guys a bunch of bullshit. It's ridiculous that you guys don't even you don't even see it. He he can tell you that he loves hearing the the critical comments all he wants. The fact is, everybody who speaks uh, not even negative speaks critically and maybe a little bit harsh, like myself. Everybody like that. Those are people you need to have around. And we're around, there's no doubt about that. But you just, you separate yourself from everybody. Myself, Abel, Buck, hell, even Celerity. Celerity makes a post, doesn't even insult you, doesn't even do anything. And you just remove them from the patch team. So are you super stoked? Or does it piss you off to the point where you need to make a and a to plead with the community to change the reviews, bro? Because if you guys are super stoked, we're making a kick-ass game, bro. Bullshit. You're a fucking liar, Tom. You act, you act, you tell these people that, that what we're doing here is great. You're stoked. But you're not stoked. Or else we wouldn't be banned from every fucking outlet you guys have. So who are you trying to kid here? What do you mean that people aren't buying? People have bought this game. A lot of people have bought this game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just because they're not playing it constantly doesn't necessarily mean that no one has this game. A lot of people have bought this game, man, to the point where... You know, 20 people were online 14 minutes ago. Last uh, 24 hours, there were only 30 people on. The maximum amount of people on at one time has been 170. But, uh, you know, he said, just because people don't play at the same time. So I'll give him that. You know what? Let's look down at the bottom here, though. Average players in the last 30 days has been 15. And then you look at the percent gain for how many players are playing, and it's at negative 11. 
<laughs> you look at the beginning, May, and then you look at June, it went down 52%. July went down another 19 And in the last 30 days, it's gone down 11 People aren't buying this, Dom. H-Hour community people aren't buying it. Is it because of my video review? of That got like 10,000 views only? Is that the reason? Are people not buying this because they see what's going on in the forums? Is that what's is that is that the case? Or what's going on in live streams? I mean, let's be realistic. When I live stream H hour, it's only H hour fans in there. When Domtron live streams it, it's only the H hour fans. Nobody knows about this game. Are people not playing it because the game is bad? No, can't be that. It's never that. Every time you bring that up, they have a million and one fucking excuses as to why that isn't the case. Guys, look at the numbers. You're telling me, you're going to sit in a stream and tell me that a lot of people have bought this game. For real? If a lot of people have bought this game, then that is a shitty fucking percentage. Because in the last 30 days... The average peak play, or actually the most peak players, I'm sorry. The the highest peak you guys saw in the last 30 days was 46 players. God damn, guys. Like, this is, when I say the word delusion, I don't mean it as an insult. I actually mean that not just Domtron, I've heard this from a lot of people. What you guys are saying is fucking delusional. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, and when we bring it up, it's not like it's not like I'm spitting bullshit here. It, it, it's it. This is fucking fact. Like I don't get how you guys can argue with this. Like how do you sit there and l- legitimately tell me that a lot of people have bought this game, and only forty six players peaked in the last thirty days? I I can understand it. Like I can I can get what you're saying when you say that you know not everybody plays at once. That's for sure. But then you sit there and you tell me that a lot of people have bought it. That's bullshit, dude. That's total bullshit and you know it. Jesus Christ, the studio has has been quoted saying that they gave away 1,400 beta codes. Where are all those people? I'm not even talking about buying it. I'm talking about the people who own it and just don't fucking play it. What's the reason for that? Because I remember I remember back when Early Access first launched, nobody was playing it because, oh, they were busy with work. Fuck, they were busy with school, man. It was every excuse under the sun. But it was never brought up that the game just sucks ass. Like, let's just be real with it. The numbers don't fucking lie. I'm done with this fucking rant. It's ridiculous to me how fucking delusional people are. And I'm sorry if you're offended by this video, but this is... This is just me (laughs) calling out every fucking thing that you guys say that's bullshit. Put out a video disputing what I'm saying with actual facts. Please do. Because I'm just trying I'm just trying to call out all the bullshit and all the false information. Because there's a lot of that floating around now that the the regulars stop coming around. Guys, my name is Big Fry. You can get me on Twitter at Big Fry TV. You can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash BigFryTV. I got a Facebook page. It just launched there a couple weeks ago. Uh, Facebook.com slash BigFryTV. You guys can go there as well. Um, You'll be notified whenever my videos go up. I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you subscribed, again, I say welcome to Fry Nation, where uh, we just tell it like it is. I'll see you guys on the next one.